you've done the blower door test, you've done the duct blaster test, you've got all those numbers and you've plugged them into your computer system you've, and you've gotten a, a HERS rating, it says here, and I, I see the report that you've put together for, for Gary and this homeowner, a HERS rating of 52. Can you kind of talk about exactly you know, what that means, what that scale, that HERS rating and that HERS scale means for a little bit? Right, and that scale can go up to whatever. Um, on this report, it'll go up to a 500. 500 being you know a house that uses a lot of energy down to a zero, zero being a net zero energy house, meaning it's not going to use any purchased energy. Um, houses right now that are built to Fargo codes or uh, 2006 codes actually um, will be a score about a 100. And so when we compare to that 100 on this house, this house actually scored a 52. So what we're saying is that this house is about 48% more efficient than a house that met that 2006 code. And so um, 52 is actually a really good score. It's uh, if you hit 80, you're actually you know, with with other things in mind um, for Energy Star. As long as you meet the other criteria, then you can qualify for the Energy Star. So, Gary's met all that criteria that Energy Star requires at that point. Plus, he's exceeded that 80 score and got it all the way down to 52, which is which is excellent. So, 50 it's really hard to break 50 um, unless you're doing something a little bit different um, that's going to cost actually a little bit more but with a home like this that we're not actually putting a whole lot more money into just a little bit more detail and attention into the the way it's insulated um, the equipment that it uses the type of windows we're using um, the infiltration rates all that goes into a, into account into this score and so 52 is an is an excellent score and you mentioned cost a little bit. The, you know, it's hard to tell what it's exactly going to cost to live in a house. It depends on, you know, if you have five teenagers taking 15 showers a day. But, uh, you know, what are some of the general ideas for how much it's going to cost to heat, in this cool, heat and cool this house versus a house that's just built to the code? Right. And they, they give a, an actual report uh, of how much that cost actually comes out to. So for heating uh, alone for this one is actually $84. So that's annual. Um, <clears throat> just to give an idea too, of, uh, Joe had mentioned that the, the uh, code is, is, the benchmark is to the 2006 energy code standard is 100. And so if you take that as their benchmark and, and bring that down, cut it say in half, uh, so roughly $1,000 less in annual energy costs for a, a her score that is, that is uh, at that 50 or half of of 100 so it makes a, a, a big difference and it's something that you're going to have to be paying less every month for um, in the operating costs so so potentially a thousand dollars more in that homeowner's pocket right. or more right energy star like i said is it's it's a good program it's you know that you got to meet that 80 score to get down to that and so um, energy star builders um, can be found on energystar.gov or they can be found on Cass County Electric's website as well um, for local area builders. <clears throat> but in any case, if you do decide you want to go with an Energy Star builder, um, you're, you're making a good choice right from the start. And you know, so like that, you know, the HERS rating, that Energy Star rating is that that's giving you your miles per gallon on that house. Right. And you know, instantly if you walk in, you see that score of a 50, it's, you know, 50% more efficient than the average house that's being right. built out there in essence. Right. Or, right. And you have a number to stick with your house. So if a builder claims that he's got a tight, a tight house, that it's tight construction, um, it's one thing to claim it, but it's another thing to prove it. And so with the Energy Star, um, or just the home energy rating and the HERS score, you've actually gone out of your way to make sure that you have third-party verification to get that score. And this is the score that we use to prove that, yeah, this is a tight home, rather than you know, just saying that it's a tight home. Okay. A lot of them aren't really concerned about how much energy efficiency or how energy efficient the house is they're looking more at you know the flooring and the granite countertops anything that's decorative inside the home what they really don't see is anything that's behind the sheetrock or you know above the sheetrock or you know the type of foundation walls or um, what they're going to be paying on an average basis or you know average monthly you know and there's a lot of variables that go into that but on, on a house like this with the ICF foundations um, and the, the low infiltration rate on this one, it's, it's basically about $115 a month compared to other houses that might cost you $200 a month. So if, if a couple is looking at buying a house and they're looking at spending a certain amount on their, you know, whatever their range is or whatever they can afford, you know, you can always take into effect how much is this house going to cost me on a utility basis. That's, and there's other programs out there too that I don't think are 
too popular right now in this area, but eventually I think they will be, you know, with energy efficient mortgages and stuff like that. So on a house like this, um, $115 a month for your average utility bill is, is excellent, especially in this, in this area of the country. Mm -hmm.